Austria is preparing to reopen this coal-fired power station. Closed in 2020, it could be brought back into service to cope with the risk of Russian gas supplies being cut due to the war in Ukraine and the sanctions imposed by the European Union. We are preparing ourselves to the fact that we will no longer have the same certainty of gas flow that we've been accustomed to in recent years and decades, and that every contribution that can be made to replace the use of gas will be called upon. Coal is a particular possibility, let's put it that way, and could help reduce gas consumption. Austria is not the only European country preparing to restart its coal-fired power stations. Germany and France have made similar announcements, risking the EU's goal of reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% by 2030. But the conflict in Ukraine and its economic and energy consequences are threatening the bloc's climate ambition. It is quite shocking that we are allowing ourselves to go backwards, to reopen power stations that are twice as polluting as gas power stations. We are allowing ourselves to do this rather than pleading for a reduction in consumption and pleading in a really very active way by carrying out public campaigns as we did in the past. For environmentalists, the war in Ukraine must not be used as an excuse to call the Green Pact into question. They say the opposite, in fact, that it should push member states to act more quickly. Despite the emerging climate gaps, though, EU countries will have to continue the transition if they're to meet their own commitments. Today's choices are likely to determine the extent of how fast that transition will need to go between now and 2030 in order to achieve carbon neutrality by the middle of the century. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.